Uh, hey, yo, it's up gamers. Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Bolts Hotel, and today I'm going to be talking about waffles, because if you know me, you know that I love waffles and that waffles are a crucial part of my diet. For the past week, the only thing I've been having for breakfast is waffles. Every Sunday, I wake up and I, I make waffles for my family. Usually I make about seven to eight waffles per Sunday, um, and a lot of them stretch across the week, you know, um, because you usually have two waffles per day. My mom might have one. Um, the number of waffles that I make, it, 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 all, it all depends on, on, um, so yeah, basically I, I, I make waffles a lot, um, Today, um, I'm not in my kitchen as you can see. It is currently 6.15 p.m. and I'm sitting in my room. Uh, anyways, today I'm gonna be sharing my waffle recipe. Um, it's, it's, it's really simple. Um, you'll need two bowls, one for dry ingredients and one for wet ingredients, and also a plate that you want to put the butter on. Um, you, you, you need one cup of flour, two tablespoons of sugar, a pinch of salt, a teaspoon of baking soda, and two teaspoons of baking powder, I think. I don't really know. Um, just just don't put too much of the baking powder and baking soda in. I don't really know the difference between them, so it doesn't really matter, you know? Um, I'm pretty sure those are all the dry ingredients. Um, the wet ingredients, one egg, massive splash of vanilla essence, and three quarters of a cup of milk. Um, and those are the wet ingredients. You also need like, like, um, 25 grams of butter. Um, you can measure that by, by getting your block of butter and there's going to be little measuring things on it that'll be in like 50 grams. Just like cut one of those in half and you'll get it and then you want to microwave it so that it can be soft. Um, but basically you want to, you, you want to put the ingredients in a bowl, the dry, wet, and then butter plate. Mix them all together, and then you want to add the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients, mix that around until you get the clumps out, and then you add the butter in. Then you want to stir that around, and it should not have lumps in it. Then you want to put it in a, um, a jug thing so it can be easy to pour. Then you want to preheat your waffle machine. I use this mini waffle machine, and it's so cute. Um, I did not read the instructions for it, I just guessed how it works and it, like, it's perfect. But you want to plug it in and then it will heat up. You want to spray it with canola oil or whatever oil you need. And you also want to spatula it, then you start pouring in the waffle mixture. Then, like, like, how much, um, I've learned this the hard way on how much waffle batter you need. Basically, you just need to pour, like, a line down the middle, like, a nice thick line. And hopefully you just get like the perfect waffle shape because you don't want to put too much in because if you put too much in too much batter in the waffle machine then it's going to like it's it's going to like it's going to go and protrude out and your waffles they will be like really thin like that and that is not good um you, the ideal waffle shape is like 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 that thick um and make a bunch of those get a spatula and flip then you don't need to flip them, you just need to close the machine, open it once they've cooked, the light will flicker or turn off or something. Um, then you want to get the spatula, put them on a plate, and then eventually you'll have a nice stack of waffles. And then you can eat those with some nice maple syrup. I like to go with sugar-free maple syrup because I think that it's actually delicious. You can't even really taste the difference, to be honest. Also having them with like little banana slices, that's also nice, that's also nice. Um, I just, I love waffles so much. Um, I've always loved waffles. I remember the first time I tried waffles. They were delicious. It was in some cafe where my brother lives. Um, the, the waffles, they were the best. I fell in love instantly since then. I've been having waffles all the time. Anyways, next video is going to be a room tour. Um, thank you all so much for 
2k subscribers um means a lot to me uh but make sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all this stuff bye